woke up. I have my cup of ice ready for my coffee. I think we're gonna go without the mic for now because it doesn't wanna work. So that's great. Hopefully the sound quality is okay. I apologize if it's not. Today I have spreads with my patrons. Very excited. I'm excited to see them. I'm excited to sprint. By the way, I have been obsessed, obsessed with the Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee. Holy shit. Oh, I want more of it. I hope I can find it, honestly. Um, so I'm going to sit down, I think, and then maybe like drink my coffee. Just chill out for a second. Try to wake myself up. And then, and then I'm gonna go live after I'm more awake. Actually, actually, one second. Would you believe it? But I found gone to see the river man i did bring it it was just like in a different bag i think i'm going to read this before continuing on with no one's home hopefully i like it i know that it has really good reviews and i know that it's like really really fucked up that's what people tell me um that's what i hear most of all is that like christopher triana writes some pretty really disgusting grotesque filthy thing Yes, Lacey, I know. Anyway, I'm gonna chill out. I might watch an episode of Game of Thrones, to be honest. I might do that. I also have to clean the kitchen, because it's really dirty. Anyway, bye! I have my book. I have part of my coffee. I'm gonna refill it. And then we're gonna start doing reading sprints. They come and go. Nick Drake. Just fucking started. Gone to see the river man and already I have thoughts. Already I have thoughts and opinions. I have thoughts and opinions. So first of all, we're following this girl named Lori. Laurie has been interviewing this guy named Edmund Cox. By the way, why do all serial killers have the last name Cox? Can we stop doing that? It's weird. It's suspicious. I don't like it. But Laurie is talking to this guy. She's like pen pals with him. She goes to visit him and stuff. And he is like, hey, go to this place to find the river man. I don't think I would want to go. I don't think I would want to go at all. I don't, I don't think I would trust it. But Laurie seems to want to like impress this guy. From that point of view, I get it. What I don't understand though, is why Lori decides to take her fucking sister, Abby, with her. I'm pretty sure Abby had some kind of accident when she was young. I think she sustained uh, head trauma and brain trauma. So Abby uh, has been, I think, stunted to basically being the age intellectually of like a teenager. So Lori, decides to take Abby with her on this thing to see the river man at the behest of a serial killer. Lori, what the fuck are you, what the fuck, what? I'm like literally afraid. 
Oh my god. So far, Lori is a dumbass. Like, who takes their disabled sister with them to see some creepy guy about a creepy thing at the behest of another creepy guy? Like, are you dumb? Like, what the fuck? I'm not worried about Lori, you know, because, like, whatever. But Abby? Already, I'm only, like, 20 pages in. But if anybody comes for Abby, I will be mad. Like, if anybody comes for Abby, I will, like, literally, personally destroy them because I'm I'm an Abby stan like what can I say that's where I'm at so far I'm only like I said like 20 pages in I put um I put chicken fingers into the oven I'm so that's gonna be my lunch I'm also thinking that later tonight I'm gonna order a pizza from Domino's as like a little like a little treat to myself <laughs> yeah I'm also hoping I can finish this today that's my friend's bookcase that's her tv and her uh fireplace i don't think the fireplace works either way i, I would never use it because it's way too hot there's her other bookcase that's lacy and a fan <laughs> there's the stairs and a closet um that's a bag of stuff and my hair straightener um, oh, there is a cabinet that's got like games and stuff in it. Is this boring? This might be boring. Um, there's the bathroom. Why did I say that weird? That's the back door and the kitchen. I think my chicken fingers though are done. So I'm gonna go deal with that while also continuing to listen to Gone to See the River Man. I hope Abby's okay by the end of this book. If Abby isn't, I'm gonna be upset. I have about two hours left of the audiobook. Maybe I missed this part. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. But what the fuck? What the fuck is this key? Well, first of all, why did Lori want to be Edmund's number one? Because Edmund, in one of the letters that he wrote her, says, I'm proud of you for wanting to prove your love and devotion. Why does Lori want to prove her love and devotion? Lori seems like a logical kind of person, even if she's kind of dumb. Like she doesn't seem like the kind of bitch who would be like a groupie, like a fan of a serial killer. So I'm confused. And also, how did she convince him that she was number one? Is she manipulating him? Is he manipulating her? I'm confused. <laughs> also, what the fuck is the key? Why is there a key? I'm confused. Also, I'm sorry, this Edmund guy is literally disgusting. He says, he says, and I quote in his letter, I learned there's only two places a man can find peace, the woods and the grave. I look forward to being in both and being in you, deep in your insides, fucking you, hammering you, coming in your snatch and dancing like the ghosts. Ew. Water be in the valley low. Come see me, get your journey. Do this for me and become the one. The one? The one what? I don't think I understand. One of my patrons said that it was like, and I get really, really crazy and that the story is wild. I'm very nervous, to be honest, actually, that this is going to be disgusting, but also kind of excited. I don't know. Anyway, oh, I'm going to go back to reading. She wants to write a book. She wants to do a podcast. That's what that that's what she's doing. I must have missed that earlier or something. That's that's why she's that's why she's talking to Edmund. But why bring your sister? Why bring your sister, bitch? Anyway, okay. I just figured I should let you know because I just figured it out. Okay, tell me why I think Lori did something to her sister. It is the reason why her sister is the way that she is. Tell me why I think that. Tell me why I think Lori is a two-faced little bitch. Why do I think that? Also, I'm sorry, Lori doesn't just want like a podcast and a book. Lori wants to feel connected to Edmund. Lori, Lori either is romantically interested in him or platonically interested in him. And that makes no fucking sense because she knows what the fuck he did. Oh, I don't know. Oh my God. Maybe I should just read the book and just stop talking about the book and start actually reading the book. But either way, dude, like Lori, I don't trust this bitch. I don't trust this bitch at all. I think... I think Lori had something to do with Petey's accident, and I think she had something to do with Abby's accident as well. 
I think Lori is a jealous motherfucker. I think, and I don't think that she liked that Abby got more attention than she did. So I think she like hurt her. And I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read that far. I'm. That's my only theory right now. Also, I'm sorry. Look at her. <laughs> so sweet. I'm gonna keep reading. There's only like seven minutes I think left in the in the sprint that I'm doing. So. So far, they made it to the shack in the woods. Or Lori found something. So, we'll see how that goes. All I have to say, really, is like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm learning more and more about Lori as a person. We learned more about the river man. I know more about him, so that's good. We've learned more about Lori. <sighs> it's a lot. Um, all I'm gonna say is that I'm shocked, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here in awe. I have about an hour and 10 minutes left of the audiobook, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read more, but I'll update you if, uh, if, any, if anything else cause that's crazy happens. Okay, bye. Okay, I finished Gone to See the River Man. I finished, I finished Gone to See the River Man. And holy shit. <coughs> Holy shit, fuck. Um, what the fuck? Hmm? What the fuck? What? What? Oh. Okay, I have so many thoughts. Let's, let's sit down, because I have a lot of thoughts. I want to sit down. Okay, first of all. I'm speechless. I'm I'm honestly speechless. This book is a wild ride, okay? W a wild ride. And how do I even properly encompass or describe my feelings? Like I don't know how. I literally don't know how. It's not like anything else I've read before. What I will say actually is that if you're thinking that like you don't want to read it because it's too it's too fucked up or like you think it's going to be like really really gruesome it is it is gory in some parts but personally i think what makes it disturbing isn't so much that it's like gory or vivid in its descriptions of um, filth but that it's psychologically horrifying the descriptions of bodies or you know people with their heads cut off or whatever it's like cool monday morning what really fucks me up is the characterizations and like how not only cruel but disturbed some people are in the book the whole fucking thing i hated lori lori can literally suck a dick like fuck lori fuck lori hate her don't like her fucking abby stunning gorgeous beautiful loved her there weren't that many other characters um besides like people from like flashbacks like her family like her parents or um or Petey her brother and there were two characters that they met in the woods um and I do think it's kind of fucked up also that like and this is kind of like a spoiler but like the only person of color in the book uh dies or like gets killed off I think that's kind of fucked up how do I say this without spoiling anything I wanted a more satisfying ending I wanted the things that are happening or are being alluded to to be shown we have a whole book of just being shown repeatedly the most disturbing shit and then at the end of the novel it's like okay and the end like, okay you've already gone this far show me the rest show me what the fuck is gonna happen after after this chapter oh. <laughs> look at her <laughs> okay she's done she's done with this overall this book was wild kind of disturbing 
I think I'm gonna give it four stars. I think four stars because the ending wasn't my cup of tea. It, would, it wasn't what I prefer. But I do think that Christopher Triana writes really well. I think his characterization was really was done really, really well. Um, I like that it was kind of like a slow burn character study of us learning more and more about Lori and her her past. I also think it's a book about entitlement. The rewards of feeling entitled to things, but also the punishments that come along with it. And I also think it's it's a story about a woman who's desperate to be loved and desperate to feel like she's good like she's good enough. And this is what's interesting, okay? She doesn't think she's good enough. She doesn't think she has the right to take up as, as much space as other people because of because of a perceived difference and superiority of her sister. In her little bird brain, she's like, my sister is pretty and she has everything and all the boys like her and those things don't happen to me, so therefore she's better than I am. So her sister doesn't even have anything to do with this, with this thing. She just creates it in her fucking head. Maybe this is a spoiler. I don't know what to say because I want to talk about it, but I don't want to spoil you. And I feel like what I'm already saying is kind of spoilerish. I'm just gonna say, go into this, go into a blind if you want to. Trigger warnings for like a serial killer. I would recommend picking this up. I'd recommend reading it. I really liked it. Four, four to five stars. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening. I think I might watch an episode of Game of Thrones. I think I might also order pizza. I mentioned that uh, like multiple times during during the live stream with the patrons. I think I might continue on reading No One's Home by DM Polly. Maybe I'll end it now actually. And if I read any more of this, I'll update you with it tomorrow. So far I've read two things. Both of them were four star reads, really enjoyable. At least he's doing her her reenactment of the ending of the Blair Witch Project. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you've read this book and what you thought of it. Let me know what you think I should read next because I love hearing your opinions. I will let you know tomorrow if I continue on with this because I do really like it. I do want to keep reading it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit. We talk about creepy shit. We talk about, I don't know, lacy. And going to see the river man and shit. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.